Good morning, El Dorado. Today is May 8th. I'm Kristen Lindner. And I'm Josh Clay. Today on the show, we get a preview of the best battle ever to take place on campus. Some students get a new way to relieve stress that's fun. And we get to take a look at the legacy Mrs. Nevin has left at El Dorado. Hey Hawks, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and we'd like to thank all the teachers here on campus. My special thank you is to Ms. Pettit. Thank you for being such an amazing role model for me these past four years in high school. You really made an impact in my life freshman year. Thank you for all you do. Mrs. Wolf, one thing I appreciate is the effort that you put into to help me understand language arts more. Hi, Ms. Shirey. Thank you for caring for your AP Chem class so much and for all the AP review sessions we had. My favorite teacher is Ms. Thark because she helped me get back on track with my grades. Ms. Rayberg, you're just geeky cool. Hi, Mr. Canny. It's me, Josh, from second period. Look, I'm sitting right there in the back. I'm waving at you right now. But I just want to say that you're one of my favorite teachers and that you really make physics bearable. What's up, Senor Linares? Just want to let you know that you make Spanish class super fun and you're such an amazing teacher. Hi, Ms. Campitelli. Thank you so much for making AP Art History really awesome. Hi, Mr. Newberry. Thanks for being such an awesome history teacher. Hi, Mr. Oberly. I appreciate your awesome teaching and your witty comments. Thanks, Ms. Evan, for making this year great and just making U.S. history really fun. I appreciate Mr. Thomas because he's a really good teacher. Hey, Mr. Fox, I just want to say I appreciate you for letting me make all these cutting boards. You're a great teacher. Hey, Mr. Suda, thank you for giving me a new perspective on math. Thank you, Ms. Okada, for being a really sassy teacher. Thanks to all the students and teachers for watching Hawk Talk each and every Thursday. Now here are your anchors, Kristen and Josh. It must be nice knowing how to play an instrument. It is, but I wish I was a rock star like some of the people who are battling it out. So check it out. I'd rather watch paint dry than sit in this class right now. Jose? What is this? Battle of the bands on a textbook? This is a disgrace. Jose, I've got a good mind to slap your fat face. Jose, I want you to stand up and tell the class, what do you want to do with your life? I want to rock. Don't let this happen to you. Go to Battle of the Bands, Friday, May 23rd. I can't wait to see all our bands perform. Me too. Hey there, Hawks. I'm Justine Senna. Mark Chapman. Joey Duong. And this is De-Stress for the AP Test. Who's taking AP test? Stress, right? Why? Why? Good. Can I help? Can I help you? Oh, 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 as some of you may know, Mrs. Nevin is retiring after this year. We got the opportunity to sit down with her and ask her about her time here at El Dorado. I don't think there's one word that could explain it. Amazing, wonderful. I'm glad that the best part of my career was the end of my career. Well, I started in elementary school in 1981. Uh, I taught seven years in elementary and eight years in middle school before coming to El Dorado. And I've been here 15 years. I think what I'll miss most about El Dorado is my students outside of the classroom. Not that I don't love them inside, but um, I enjoy going to their performances, sporting events. Um, I love my breakfast club in the morning. They come for help and a lot of times when they've got their questions answered, we talk about everything but school and I like the interaction with them. I will miss that desperately. Thank you, Mrs. Nevin, for all that you've done for the school. You'll be missed. Now let's take a look at our sports. Blast those jocks to Adams.
Girls Lacrosse defeated Valencia last Thursday with a score of 8-5. There were three goals from Remy Shim, two goals from Amy Bechtel, and ten saves from Sofia Namoviski. That was their last game of the season. Great job, girls. Boys Baseball destroyed El Medina last Tuesday with a score of 4-1. They are now 11-11 overall and have a home game against Brea this Friday. Be there. Boys Lacrosse showed Esperanza last Friday how it's done with a score of 9-4. They are now done with their season. Boys Volleyball played it out against Foothill but couldn't come with the win with a score of 25-26 and 25-23. They are 5-11 overall. Track and field compete for finals this Friday at Tustin High School. Running events start at 4 o'clock and field events start at 5. Good luck, Hawks. You got this. Looks like it's time for... Extra announcement! <laughs> Not today! Link leaders, letters can be picked up in front of the activities office on Friday after school. If you had an interview, make sure you stop by. Congratulations to this week's Arts Person of the Week, Maria Carrasco. Maria has shined in an AP photo and has taken the advice of her peers on shot ideas and has turned in amazing photos of hands. Though she might not say much, she absorbs everything and thrives. This week's Athlete of the Week is Katie Petrides. Katie is a sophomore on our girls' softball team. She is an awesome catcher who is hitting 364. She has 12 RBIs, 3 doubles, and 4 home runs. Katie is a leader and captain on the field. Great job, Katie. Keep up the good work. There is plenty of community service opportunities like helping out at the Kinder Ball or help hosting a carnival. For more information, look in the bulletin. Creative Writing Journal. Congratulations to Alicia Area who has earned the cover for this year's journal. To see Elise's artwork and additional art by EDHS students, pre-order a journal from Mrs. Wolf. Journals are available for pre-order only through May 16th at lunch. Grad Night. There is now a list of students that have paid for Grad Night posted on the bulletin board by the Finance Office. Check to see if your name is on here. Names that are highlighted are missing paperwork. The list will be updated every Monday. Attention staff and juniors. Juniors will be taking the Star Math and EAP test next Thursday, May 15th in the new practice gym. Please report to the gym no later than 7.55 a.m. You will have your break in the gym, so you may bring a snack and water. Red Cross Club. There is a meeting in room 207 at lunch on Friday. Students interested in ROP Summer School Medical Corps class, please see your counselor ASAP to register as classes fill up quickly. For all you students going to summer school, the deadline to register for summer school is May 14th. Please see your counselor so you can reserve your spot in summer school. Don't delay! Creative Writing Club Editors, today is our last lunch meeting to finish the journal. All editors must attend. If you have a typed copy to submit, please email it today. See you in room 202 at lunch. There will be a Logan Wells fundraiser event at Papa's Cocina and Cantina on May 10th. All proceeds will be going to the Logan Wells Skate Park. Form a team for Hoops for Hope in front of the ASB office. Tickets are now on sale. All proceeds will benefit Skate Park for Logan. This wraps up another episode of Hawk Talk. Only three more to go. I'm Josh Clee. And I'm Kristen Linder. Have a great day, Hawks. Hi, Mr. Thompson. I just want to thank you for everything that you've done for me and for being such a great teacher. My favorite teacher is Ms. Jacobson because of how positive she is and all the energy she brings to the classroom. Thank you, Mr. Mounts, for making world history fun and easy to learn. Love you and have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Putnam, for keeping the class alive, and the debates are awesome. Keep them up. Thank you, Dr. Beckman. I really appreciate the way you teach, how efficient it is, and you have a pretty great classroom. Hi, Ms. Bernier. You're such a fun teacher, and you make learning Spanish so exciting. Hey, Ms. Gardner. Thanks for being such a nice teacher and being so devoted to our education. Hi, Mr. Wolf. Thank you for uh, choosing me over Mitchell and who would win in a fight. Hey there, Mr. Gonzalez. I'd just like to thank you for being my language arts teacher this year. You've taught a lot, and I, I think I'll definitely take it with me to college.